Hello, all you coin aficionados out there, and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some one peso coins from the Philippines, and these ones on the outside I just got. Uh, they are just very, very interesting to me. Haven't seen these ones before, and they are the large one peso coins that were made in the Philippines uh, between 1983 and 1990. Not sure why I hadn't had any before, but it, of course the one peso on the front looks like this. This is 1985, and if, over here there's another 1985, and this one in the middle is the one that was made later, the small peso coin that came from 1991 to 1994. Again, all three of them have Jose Rizal on the front of them, and if we look it says Republica Nang Filipinas here. Down here it says Jose Rizal, and this one's kind of worn off a little bit, 1985. And down here it'll say BSP, or Bank Central Pilipinas. And that's on all three of these coins, so you can see the same thing on all three. This one here we've done a video on before, the 1991 to 1994. And so I'm going to move it up a little bit out of the way, and we'll bring it back later. But this one... The 1985, which was the second year that it was made, and it says one peso at the top, P-I-S-O. Right here, this is the name of these small cattle, the Tamara cattle that are native to the Philippines, Anoa mindarensis, and they are also called Tamara cattle. The, this particular coin was demonetized in 1998, so it's no longer good uh, to buy anything in the Philippines, and it hasn't been since 1998, so essentially for the last 20 years you haven't been able to buy anything with these coins, but they're good coins, they're collectible coins. We don't know how many exactly they made, but the estimates for 1985 are that they made 182.6 million. So they made tons of these 1985. So if you're going to find one, it's almost definitely going to be a 1985. In 83, they made 55.8 million. In 84, they made 5 million. In 86, they made 19 million. And the year you want to collect, if you can collect these, is the 1987, in which they only made 1.4 million of these. You see it has a reeded edge. And... On both of these, they have the exact same thing. But see, this is see how this one kind of wears down. See how this one's a lot darker. This one got a lot more use. This one also wore down on the edge, so it almost looks like a smooth edge coin, but it's not. It is a reeded edge coin, just like this one. When we look at these coins for um, value, um, they are not worth too much. They are worth about between. 30 and 50 cents US, maybe a little bit more. Now, why did they go from the large one peso to the small one peso? Well, there's a number of reasons, but the first, of course, is this coin here is a copper nickel coin and it weighs 9.5 grams. This coin here is a stainless steel coin and it weighs 4 grams. So the smaller coin is less than half the weight. It's also they moved to stainless steel because it didn't wear out as much. So you see how this one wore and changed color and actually it actually wore here. On these smaller ones because it's stainless steel it doesn't wear as much and they also look what they did. They put a smooth rim on it. So instead of the reeded rim they put a smooth rim. They divided the weight by half and made it stainless steel instead of copper nickel and that saved them a ton of money. So what do we have? We have the one peso coin from the Philippines, Pilipinas, Republic Nang, Pilipinas, 1985 and it's just a magnificent coin and some people say well here's the the, the parent and here's the child and if you look at them uh, you can kind of see that they have the exact same engraving on them. No change really to the engraving other than the size of the engraving. All right, have a great day and hope you like these coins. They're just lovely.
We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.